Hi guys, welcome. It's Shamar Clark. You're welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Uh, we are in part five of our ultimate guide to crypto assets, and that's what you're investing in. So we're getting real around these parts. We're going to teach you what you're really investing in and how to decipher the different uh, cryptocurrencies that you're investing in. They're not cryptocurrencies. They're crypto assets. Some are currencies. Some are, uh, you know, uh, and then the rest are tokens. Some are utility tokens. Some are platform tokens. Some are transactional tokens. And that's what we're going to educate you on right now. So you know what you're investing in so that you know into the future. What do you think in the future is going to be valuable? Uh, this is the Internet 2.0, the Internet of Value. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's what really matters. So let's get into that, uh, guys. Uh, oh, so in the first four parts of this series, you have learned already the four parts of the crypto asset world, right? In part number one, we learned about the overview of the crypto asset. You learned about the overview of the crypto asset market. In part number two, you learned about the cryptocurrency market and who they who the players are in uh video number three you learned about who the people were uh, the platform tokens who the uh companies were that were giving you platform tokens what they were and what their value is remember a platform tokens worth goes up because more people use that platform we also learned in video number four about utility tokens the video game tokens and etc etc so now we're going to go to video number five uh let's get on with it uh video number five uh we are at we are uh also on our ultimate guide a crypto assets ultimate guide and now we're going to go to transactional tokens transactional tokens and this is going to let me get here this is going to be a little longer than the other ones because there are two types of transactional tokens <laughs> so let's get in with it okay let's get on with it transactional tokens uh are uh, so transactional tokens financial institutions and banks are still very slow when it comes to cross-border payments as we know we it takes us three to seven days to get our money to coinbase or i don't know whatever country you're from but where i'm from it takes me a couple two days three days to get my money from my bank account to uh my trading account right uh, and so blah 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 we're gonna s go on from there the swift transfer thing is six different parties and kyc and aml requirements kyc means know your client uh and they have to go through all that now transactional tokens are crypto assets launched to solve this interborder transactional problem one the great example of transactional crypto assets is Ripple. Ripple is a global uh, real-time settlement network which connects different banks and financial institutions around the world without requiring, uh, requiring beneficiaries or other intermediaries. It enables cross-border payments which banks within seconds while or within banks within seconds while providing them an end-to-end -end visibility throughout the whole process so i mean obviously you can check the blockchain blah, blah blah see who did what just like we check all our blockchain transactions blockchain transactions uh take it as a platform used by banks and other financial institutions to power payment services so uh similar transactional and payment tokens are cleared with more focus on individuals and corporates at, as their target audience. Uh, Stellar uses Lumens, 
as their uh, facilitator of transactions, IOTA. We'll get into that IOTA, Internet of Things. Um, uses interests, uh, sorry, Internet of Things, oh, Internet of Things, to handle uh, micropayments. Metaplay uses blockchain to transfer money around the world with just phone numbers. Uh, the payment crypto assets can be further subdivided into two categories. So this is what we want to get into. So this is what we want to get into. This is what we want to get it. This is what we want to get into, guys. So in this category, there are actually two. There are um, the blockchain. Sorry. There are the blockchain. <laughs> the blockchain uh, payment services. And there's the Internet of Things blockchain services in other words or sorry internet of things services not blockchains internet of things services okay so um let's get to it examples uh so blockchain based transactional tokens are the first and second generation blockchain tokens which depend 100 percent on blockchain to conduct execute and secure the transactions. Uh, examples of that would be Ripple or Stellar. So Ripple or Stellar, uh, Ripple or Stellar are blockchain services company. You know they, that's it. Okay, Internet of Things based transactional tokens. Uh, there uh, have a different category, um, as these have opened an all new spectrum of decentralized economy by focusing on machine to machine transactions and microtransactions. So for instance, um, let me give you an example. Like your, this is gonna sound hyperbolic and maybe a little bit um, conspiratorial or I don't know how you're gonna classify this, but when you put milk in your fridge Hold on, let me let me look at this. Let me look at you guys. When you put milk in your fridge, right? Your your fridge is gonna know that you put milk in there on blah 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 date. It's gonna know that the milk is gone bad, and it will tell your uh you know, coffee machine <laughs> to yo, tell homeboy, me and you, like us. Don't use that milk. It's probably gone bad. It's it's a uh, <clears throat> it's fanciful, but it's the way things are going to be. You know, uh, you know, uh, you know. Uh, you might put strawberries in your fridge. Here we go again. Right. You might put strawberries in your fridge. Your fridge is going to know those strawberries are bad, and it's going to tell you. That's called Internet of Things. In other words, it's uh, <clears throat> the new way that um, you know these products are going to interact with us. That's called Internet of Things. Okay, so let's get let's get finished with this. Um, let's finish up, guys. Um, Instead of using blockchain to handle transaction, the technology uses directed acrylic, uh, sorry, acrylic graph, the tangle. Oh, uh, yeah. So let's get back to this. So the tangle, the tangle is like what IOTA uses. So I'm not shilling. I'm not trying to tell you what to buy or whatever, but just uh, IOTA uses a thing called the tangle. And these IOT, Internet of Things, are going to use what's called the tangle. And that's going to be implemented right now. It's not so cool because we are in 4G network. But when 5G network comes in, 5G network, yo, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't sound too crazy. But seriously, when 5G network comes in, all this Internet of stuff, Internet of things, things are going to be real. You know, we're going to have in about three years driverless cars. Like, you're not going to order Uber and a human shows up. It's just going to be a car that will, like, text you and bop, bop, bop. You, that's Internet of Things. But also, your, you know, your 
you know, your fridge is going to tell you when your milk has gone bad. And different things. Different things. So that's the Internet of Things. Okay, guys. So, uh, Internet of Things, blah, blah, blah. So, these are uh, the benefits of that. And so, uh, there will be 70, 75 billion Internet of Things connected. Excuse me. By 2025, uh, this technology is the Internet of Things. Uh to process all transactions, which has the following advantages. So, zero transaction fees and possibilities, possibilities, <laughs> possibilities of microtransactions. Examples of the IoT, obviously, are uh, IOTA and mm, VeChain. Okay, so the potential of crypto assets. Uh, Facebook is planning to launch crypto assets. Blah, blah, we're going to skip down. Bitcoin may not be the new gold, but crypto assets are definitely the future. So anyways, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. Uh, guys, you are in now the crypto asset world, and I hope you're investing wisely. Here, here at Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, you are going to invest wisely if you listen to me. Not listen to me, but just use your brain but the knowledge i'm going to give around here i'm a forex trader i trade currencies yen pounds rubles and all this uh pesos and south african rand i i trade it all and uh but i'm really hyped about the cryptocurrency world why why shamari are you hyped about it bill you know i'm a 44 year old man i know i look young oh you man you look like a kid now I'm not a kid. I'm a man, 44 year old man. I'm not sh telling you what to buy out of my mother's basement. I'm a real trader. Go to forexfactory.com. Type in my name, Shamari, S H O M A R I, and you will see I've been trading. I made my money, my real money I made during the uh, um, housing crash. But I mean, I just trade i'm a forex trader so everything i look at in the world every piece of news i look at in the world i how does it i ask one question how does it affect the markets and then i deploy my money accordingly i don't have a nine to five job i've haven't had one for 18 years <laughs> and so now you know you're talking to a real trader i'm not bragging but i, I want you to know that you're actually talking to an investor and a trader and this new cryptocurrency stuff is, it reminds me of back when I was a child. Uh, not a child, but when I was in my uh, university days and my dad and all them were investing in Microsoft and uh, Gateway and Dell and, uh, you know, all these other, <coughs> all these dot-com uh, companies. And they made so much money. We would laugh at them. They didn't know even what they were investing in. <laughs> we knew. We were the kids. They didn't know what we were investing in, what they were investing in. Um, but they had the money so they could do it. And that's what we're in now. We have the money to invest now. So if you're watching this video now and you have some money, invest. Because it's going to be like the dot-com bubble, the dot-com revolu dot revolution, the dot-com frenzy. All of these things are going to rise, and as more people learn, the, the, the prices of everything are going to rise because the demand, the demand for these products are going to rise. And so get in now, get smart, uh, figure out what you're going to do. And uh, uh, so my name is Shamari Clark. Like I said, go to ForexFactory.com. Look at S-H-O-M-A-R-I. That's me. Look at my, my profile. You can see my trades. You can see all the stuff. Money. And now we're getting into this market. And so uh, please subscribe. Please press the thumbs up. If you feel that you learned anything, please press the thumbs up. Okay. But more importantly, subscribe. Uh, we're going to get this channel going. Uh, this is the new revolution. Like I said, I'm 44 years old. When I was a kid, uh, Microsoft Net was worth 10 cents. What's it worth now? 
And so that's why I'm heated and hot because this is Internet 2.0. This is the revolution 2.0. Uh, this is the blockchain revolution 1.0, whatever. But just we are about to and we are entering and it has this is the embryonic stages of a new market that's coming up. And this is the Internet of Things, the Internet of Value. And this Internet of Value, we will all make so much money, so much money. Let's just invest wisely. So when you stay at this channel, you're going to learn to invest wisely. I'm not going to tell you what to buy. I'm not going to bullshit BS you that oh, Ripple's going to be blah, blah, blah within 18 months. No. But we're going to learn. You're going to learn real. And actually, so... Tonight you learned a transactional token. That's the video you're on. Ripple's a transactional token. You really think it's gonna get to two hundred dollars <laughs> when it takes a when it, it's being used by uh, you know a villager in Africa? I'm just saying. I'm not chilling. But I'm just saying. So please subscribe below. Subscribe wherever you do subscribe in this stuff. Like it. I don't know where you're seeing this video, so like it. Uh, retweet it whatever it is and guys i'm so happy to see you let's make money though this is a revolution and in the next five years we're gonna make so much cash i'm a trader i make money and i'm all about the money i know some things are a little mean some things are a little mean oh sure man you made all that money while everyone was losing money because their houses were going down dude i didn't make that happen i'm just a trader so i bought yen what can i say i made cash Okay, so we're about trading around these parts. We're about making money around these parts. If you're about that, come on back. I'm glad you watched. This is number five, five in the series of uh, these crypto asset uh, videos that I just made. Uh, and these ones were about the uh, transactional tokens. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And uh, come on back. Ciao.